Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is going to be a video review of a highly anticipated toy for me. This is Transformers Generations Leader Class Jetfire. And as you can see, he comes packaged in robot mode. And on the front, we've got some pretty darn cool artwork right there. Turn this sucker around. And we got the continuation of that cool artwork. Turn them around to the back. We've got all of your standard stuff. Tech specs, product shots, bio... And on the side, it just says Jetfire Leader Class. And you have a photo of the toy down there. All in all, pretty neat package. Can't wait to get this guy out of the box and see what he's like. Okay, guys, here we have Jetfire out of the package and into his vehicular mode. And I have to say, I think he looks pretty darn awesome in his vehicle mode. We're just going to go ahead and start off with a quick few size comparisons. Here he is with the Classics Voyager Jetfire, and he is a fair amount bigger than him. Let me go ahead and uh, stand these guys up so you can see just how much so. Okay, well, let's lift the camera up. Maybe we can see the top of Jetfire. There we go. There he is, top to bottom. There's Classics Jetfire, obviously. Leader Jetfire, much, much bigger. And uh, I have to say... As far as the way the jet mode looks, while I do like Classics Jetfire quite a bit, oops, I think uh, I think Leader Class Jetfire beats him in a vehicle mode pretty handily as far as looks goes. Now, let's go ahead and get out the grandfather here, which of course is the original G1 Jetfire. And they are pretty close to the same size in uh, vehicle mode. Now, I have to say, this is actually the first jet fire that has a jet mode that I think is actually better than the G1. I actually enjoy this jet fire's vehicle mode more than this guy. So that's really saying something because I think this vehicle mode is quite excellent. But this just looks sleeker, and in my opinion, it's just a better looking vehicle overall than G1 jet fire. Anyway, go ahead and stack these guys up just like I did classics and as you can see they are roughly the same size in vehicle mode whereas leader class jetfire is just a tad longer at the nose than a g1 jetfire so leader jetfire is actually i guess technically at least in vehicle mode the biggest jetfire we've had yet at least officially i know there's chronos the third party masterpiece scale uh jetfire but as far as uh, official Hasbro releases, he would be the biggest. Now that we're done with all the comparisons, let me go ahead and move the camera in a bit closer. That way we can get a better view of the toy in question here. And I'll tell you what, he really does fill out the shot nicely, doesn't he? I mean, that is just one awesome looking sleek jet. And, um, you know, here he is, obviously, without any of his extra armament attached to him. You know, his uh, cockpit opens quite nicely. We got some nice detailing there in the cockpit. We got that really cool Tampa Graft Autobot symbol there on his nose cone. And this thing is just really cool. Yeah, he does have a little bit of robot on the bottom jet, but all jet fires have that. And it's really not bad looking on him. It's done better than on other jets. His wings, of course, are adjustable. They can fold out, uh, you know, for whatever wing position you feel like giving them. And overall, this thing just looks absolutely great, I think. Uh, even just in his basic jet mode. Let me go ahead, and uh, I'm going to grab his weapons, and we'll get them on there, and we'll talk about that. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I went ahead and grabbed all of his extra weapons, and we're going to go ahead and mount them on him. Uh, that way you can see what he looks like each step of the way. Uh, first thing I'm going to put on, of course, are his Calastic Boosters, and I think they're quite attractive. Really nice detailing on them, like the boosters there on the back, just really cool looking. So anyway, to get those on there, you just fold the uh, fins down there, and then it just plugs on to his back. Do that real quick, thusly. And now he's got his classic boosters, and I think that looks pretty darn neat. The rest of his stuff mounts onto him pretty easily. Uh, you can take his uh, 
guns here and just kind of mount them on the undersides of his wings thusly and uh, you got some choices for these other weapons here these can go actually I think I have this backwards but the uh, bigger ones I think are actually supposed to go under the wings and the let's go ahead and fix that real quick just so I have it right instead of uh, incorrect here so the smaller ones get mounted on his arms there we go bigger ones get mounted underneath his wings and there you have his armor or I'm sorry his guns on and I think that looks pretty darn freaking cool and of course if you so choose his main blaster here came out underneath his nose and now he is quite the aerial death dealer right there pretty cool I think I really do enjoy the look of this um, the one on the front's a bit much it's a little bit of overkill but you know you get the general idea anyway that is pretty much going to wrap up the vehicle mode portion of this. I'll be back in a flash to go over his robot mode with you. Okay, guys, here we have Jetfire in his robot mode. And I have to say he looks pretty darn cool in his robot mode, I think. Let's go ahead and grab his granddaddy here, G1 Jetfire. And they go together pretty good, I'd say. Now, obviously, G1 Jetfire is about a head and a half taller than... Um, leader class generations jet fire but overall I think they're relatively similar size um, you know obviously they share a lot of design cues with each other since this is supposed to be an update of this obviously the heads different but as you're well aware he comes with a helmet to make him look more like this so anyway go ahead and grab jet fire put him off to the side or at least G1 jet fire now we're gonna gra grab classics slash universe jet fire whatever you know he was anyway and here the two of them are together and they have a ton even more design cues in common I think than he did with G1 Jetfire but anyway um, they both have what I would call a Skyfire mode that is uh, you know they without the helmet on they look more like the animation model instead of the original G1 toy and that is very much appreciated that they both have that anyway if you want to learn more about uh, G1 Jetfire and Classics Jetfire, I did a review on these guys a while back, and I will have a uh, link in the description below. So let me go ahead and get this Jetfire out of the way. And now we're just going to talk about the main event here. And that, of course, is Leader Class Jetfire. So let's just start off with a quick 360 of them. And he looks pretty good, I think, from all angles. Now, before I start talking about articulation and all that, a uh, major complaint about this figure are the hollow arms. They're not bad if you cover it up with the armor. It looks fine. One of my main complaints about this figure is the plastic seems a little bit thinner than what we're used to uh, with Hasbro Transformers. Um, not a huge fan of it. It's It could be a little bit thicker. I don't think it's going to break. It's just something to be aware of. Anyway, um, his articulation is pretty much what you would expect. He's got knee bend rotates there at the top of the waist ratchet joints I'm sorry not at the waist at the at the thigh geez what am I saying ratchet joints there at the hip no waist rotation shoulders rotate in and out bicep swivel and elbow bend uh, head ball joint so pretty much standard stuff for articulation for transformers these days let me go ahead I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so I can show you off some of the detail. I really dig that head sculpt. That is flipping cool. You know, he just looks really nice. Got that nice Autobot symbol there in his chest. Overall, this guy is just loaded down with coolness, I think, in robot mode. No doubt, it is nice. Um, now, obviously, you can arm him up just like every other Jetfire figure and it's pretty easy to do so we'll start off with backpack you do that you just kinda of pop the rear down there 
Pop that on. Pop that up. Now he's got a big old backpack. Pointing up, it's pretty huge. Now, personally, I prefer you can uh, rotate this down and have it pop off on you. <laughs> Let's just put it back here. Come on. Bear with me, guys. Just Sometimes hard to do that at the angles where you're holding these things to put them in front of a camera. Anyway, that gives him a uh, lower backpack. I personally do prefer that look. I may turn it the other way later. Who knows? Anyway, his gun, uh, or I'm sorry, all his other armor pieces can combine into one large gun if that's your thing. It's not hard. And I just fired the missile on the main gun or whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, they all combine if that's your thing. It's not hard to do. Just do that. Do that. Do that. Drop one. Oh, man. Do that. Now he's got a giant gun of doom, personally, and he can hold it. Just put it in his hand there for you. Come on. And his shoulder popped out of his joint, of course. Yeah, if you like that, it's an option, personally, not a fan. So you, of course, can put this armor on him in the more standard way and I think that looks much better so let's go ahead and do that real quick take that off take that off 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 Armor him up come on baby get on there there we go Okay, got his leg armor on. Get his arm armor on. And there he is, armed up except for the helmet. And uh, actually, guys, I'm going to have to pause right here, find his helmet so I can uh, complete the look. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I found his helmet. And just before I go... There he is without his helmet, all armed up real quick. Zoom in a little bit. There's his helmet. Yeah, it just snaps onto his face pretty easily here. There we go. Helmet on and armed up. And honestly, I think both look pretty good, just whatever your preference is. If you want to have this character be Skyfire or Jetfire, you know, to each their own. Overall, would I say this guy, is this guy worth a purchase? Yes, definitely so. I mean, if you like the look of him, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend picking him up. Yeah, he's got a few small issues. And, of course, everybody complains about the chrome because it may flake off eventually. But there is a way to get the chrome off. Uh, there are videos on YouTube about how to do that. So, anyway, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did like what you see, please rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will catch you guys next time.